we want to use the distributive property to simplify the given expressions. The distributive property is given here below, where we have a times the quantity b plus or minus c equals a times b plus or minus a times c. Notice both terms inside the parentheses are being multiplied by a. But notice how our problems look a little bit different. We have the quantity x plus seven times three and the quantity z minus eight times negative four. So it looks a little bit different because the monomial, or this three, is on the right side of the binomial rather than the left. But because multiplication is commutative, meaning if we change the order it doesn't change the product, we could rewrite this if we wanted to as three times the quantity x plus seven, and then it would look more like our previous examples. But this really isn't necessary as long as we multiply both terms inside the parentheses by positive three. So leaving it in this form here, we would have three times x plus three times seven. Again, we have three times x plus three times seven, which would give us three x plus twenty-one. which is the same result if we find the product in this form here. So looking at our second example, we we'll multiply both terms inside the parentheses by negative four. So we'll have negative four times z minus negative four times eight. So negative four times z minus negative four times eight. So we have negative four z and then we'd have minus negative thirty-two. Simplifying one more time, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive, so this would simplify to negative four z plus thirty-two. After doing this a while, we probably would not show this much work. We can just think of this as negative four times z, which gives us negative four z, and then for the next product we can think of this as negative four times negative eight, which would be positive thirty-two, so we could simply just write plus thirty-two. I hope you found these two examples helpful.